Most of these veterans fought during the Vietnam War. Back then, that war was not popular, and these veterans say they felt the backlash. Now, decades later, they're finally being treated like the heroes they are. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light. They fought for the Stars and Stripes. And I'm overwhelmed. They made sacrifices to defend our freedom. We got the worst welcome you ever seen. After so many years... These veterans of the Vietnam War. Quite the difference from when I came home. You know, they were calling us names, and it wasn't a proud time. Are finally getting a send off. You were ashamed you want to get your uniform off and be in civilian clothes. Fitting for a hero. We're amazed that 50 years after the fact, people are finally recognizing what we did over there. Governor Gary Herbert was among those wishing these vets well on their honor flight. But you all represent the best of what America has to offer. The two-day journey to the nation's capital will take them to monuments and memorials. I want to go to Arlington the most, the Vietnam Wall. A moment to remember those who didn't come home. Well, I've got friends that are on names on the wall. I know a couple guys on the wall. A chance for all of us. Bygones are bygones, years have gone by. It's just an honor to, to have them honor me. And to show our gratitude. Just recognize them for what they are. Um, there's a lot more. I mean, we keep having wars, so we keep having more veterans. If you're a veteran or no one deserving of a spot on the honor flight, we have a link to the application on our website at fox13now.com. In the studio, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.